What's up you guys, Jason Lopes here, the creator of Good Lift Training Systems, and today's rant is gonna be on some of my pet peeves when it comes to personal trainers. And there's three types that kinda grind my gears out there. Disclaimer, there's always an exception to, to the rule, so for each and every example that I give, there are a few really legit ones out there. But for the most part, I try to stay away or guide a lot of my friends that are out of town that I talk to and consult with away from because usually they lead you down a road that isn't so um, efficient. So, the first trainer, the geeky book smart trainer that has no street knowledge of what it really takes to get yourself in shape. And this is the individual that has all these certifications, might have a degree, uh, but doesn't really put themselves into that lifestyle of healthy eating, uh, hard work as far as, far as workout ethic goes, and this kind of gym lifestyle, this fitness lifestyle that some of these individuals are trying to either bring themselves into or or really trying to provoke to get these results, these kind of hardcore big time results. And these guys have all the information in the world and what it says in books to get you those goals. But in reality, since everyone is different, there's so many different psychological factors going into people's personalities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera that they really don't know what it really takes to get themselves into specific goal settings because they've never done it themselves. They read books, they're barely in that lifestyle, but they're just preaching upon what they read, etc., etc., what they know from a specific goal certification, etc. That's number one. Number two are the genetically gifted mofos out there that think they're so in shape and they know everything in the world about fitness because their mom and dad were rock stars. These guys are the people that you see in the gym working with bad form, uh, preaching bad details as far as nutrition goes. When those guys go into the gym, 30 minutes, lift some weights, maybe walk on the treadmill, go home and eat Pop-Tarts and look like a million bucks. Again, real life experiences, especially in fitness, are these, these little uh, specific niches that really help uh, guide individuals through these roads because, again, every road is wrong. It's an, it's an, it's an unstable line of, of, of wins and losses, etc., etc. And the more that you can find an individual that's been through that themselves personally, the better that they can be able to guide you through these specific little routes and roads. So for these genetic gifted people, they never, they can eat Taco Bell every single day and look like a million bucks. They don't know the struggle. They don't know the psychological aspect of what it really is to get themselves into a program, to go through a little bit of struggle, maybe a little bit of defeat. And so these individuals always have a different eye when they're giving specific recommendations or um, specific planning and ideas to work with or even uh, psychological compensation to these individuals because they've never done it. They've always been in great shape. They've been, all they have to do is pick up a heavy weight and they look like a million bucks. That's number two. And the third are all the fakies out there. You're going to find your, your steroided out male individuals. You're going to see your hormoned out female individuals. They might have plastic surgery done. They might have some fake butts, fake boobs, some liposuction, you name it. And these are individuals that kind of cut corners. For, so for the person that they're coaching or trying to get a specific result from in, a, in the natural way, again, they haven't really put themselves into that mark of what it really takes to get specific goals naturally. They're injecting hormones, they're cutting corners, they're looking amazing, not through their sheer work ethic. Yes, they might work a little hard, but it's a whole different story when you're doing it naturally. And then so they won't be able to specifically give you guys the right recommendations of what to do and, and, and the road that leads to that and maybe some of the extra little extra pushes and mindsets you have to be in to get that. So those are my three uh, pet peeves when it comes to trainers that you guys should kind of look into and try and read between the lines and see if they're going to be the right fit for you and going to give you a realistic outcome with your goals or program, etc. And again, there's always an exception to the rule. There are some great trainers out there that, that kind of lie along those three little realms. But most off, and just to be leery for, look out for those three individuals because they might not have all the best answers for you and they might be steering you down a road that isn't gonna be efficient for you or might not match up with your goal setting or or make things quite you know the, the correct path for you. So always look for someone that has, of course, a little bit of knowledge with their certifications um, in the book smart realm that has a good track record of supplying great uh, great results to their clients. And number three, 
someone who's active in the fitness community, someone who's actually working out every week, keeping themselves in this fitness lifestyle, maybe that has came from a giant transformation themselves, either it's gonna be in weight loss, muscle gain, or in a fitness realm, if they're a triathlete and they, and they consistently push themselves to reach new type of goals and to better themselves, because these people know what the struggle is, they know what it takes mindset wise, they know what it takes nutritionally, programming wise, and the day-to-day -day struggles that they'll be able to help you out with the most. So those are my three pet peeves. Hopefully this gives you some light on as far as what to look for and what to stay away from. That's my rant for today. Till next time, you guys.